So I was thinking, it's been circulating in my brain for a long time. Should I get back on social media? And you might be like, wait, isn't YouTube a form of social media? Yeah, it is. And I'm back on it. <laughs> well, not really. I don't know if you'd say three videos is back on it. Um, no, I mean Instagram, Facebook, well, I guess Meta. I don't want, uh, was it TikTok? Nah, I don't think I'd go that far. Somebody'd have to really show me how it would be advantageous for me to be on there. Now, the idea is I thought I've. Okay, when I left Chemnitz, I pretty much quit using uh, Facebook for mental health reasons. I had read somewhere that uh, Facebook causes a lot of mental health issues. Especially if your life isn't in the place that you want to be in. Funny. There actually seems to be two types of people. Well, two types of people. and Well, one of the two, two big groups of people on Facebook are those there that are trying to show it off, make you jealous of their lifestyle. And then those that are faking a lifestyle. Um... That looks much better than why it is. And if your life's not going good at the moment, which is the other huge portion, I'd say the majority of Facebook, probably not attractive, probably not having sex with the people they want to have, probably not making the money they want to make, probably not uh, taking the vacations they want to take, um, that type of stuff. And... When you are in that player position and you're looking at somebody who could either be having the best life in the world and just showing it off or somebody who's trying to fraudulently display a life that looks like, you know, the materialistic lifestyle that we've all been led to believe is the, you know, the best. Lots of sex, parties, famous, brand name clothes, Italian sports cars, all that good stuff. So I quit using it because I was in a pretty depressed, well, I, I, don't know if, I wasn't so much depressed as just deeply disappointed. It's like, fuck, man, I blew my chance to have a master's degree from Germany. So anyways, I got off Facebook. Then when I came back to, when I came to Prague, I looked in and I saw both my accounts were still there. And I created a third account here in Prague. This is what was also weird. Now my accounts uh, have been created in uh, Germany. They all switched it magically to German. I never changed the settings. Not even in a drunkenness. First of all, when I'm drunk, rule number one, never go into the settings when you're drunk. Uh, rule number two... Facebook and all that shit changed so often. The, the, the instructions, the settings was so, you know, such a giant pain in the ass, so we never went in there anyways. Unless they changed your security settings without telling you, and all of a sudden you're getting angry posts from people, and you're like, wait, they're not supposed to be seeing this. And you go look, and it's, oh, it's privacy has been reset. Thanks, Facebook. Um, but anyways, I, I you know, I, I was using Facebook just to piss people off. Mm. I mean, I said what I believed, but uh, I was trolling, too. I was trolling with my beliefs. But in event, at the end, though, I just had a circle of friends, 400 people, that found me to be hilarious. <laughs> so I chased off all the people who didn't like what I had to say. But, um, but then, <clears throat> so I came to Prague, and... Uh, well, my first account's been shadow banned. Man, I was shadow banned before it was cool to be shadow banned. <laughs> it was it Murder Face and uh, Metalocalypse? You mean I'm too? I'm, I'm the bad cop that had to turn in my gun. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, 
uh, yeah, so anyways, and it was weird. I got banned on there. I forget what I said, but I got a 30 day ban. But then I realized if I went in through my phone, I could still per uh, make, make pros. So I got banned while being banned. And then they just canned that whole account. Just like, thank you, Facebook. I tricked you. I should have downloaded the pictures. I'm sure there are some pictures on there that I didn't have on my first account, which still exist. Um, but at the same time, it's like, thank you, Facebook, for deleting everything. Um, so I didn't have to. <laughs> uh, so anyways, yeah. And Instagram would be the other one. Um, so I haven't really used Instagram, God, since I lived in Chemnitz. That's over three years ago. I haven't used Facebook and since the very beginning of this year, I think I signed on. Just to get a phone number. Managed to get in an argument with somebody. <laughs> Told them to fuck off. <laughs> Over politics. <laughs> Girl I know from uh, Minsk, but I met her in America. But like every female leftist liberal belief system i told her yeah whatever so um amazingly though she didn't get my page deleted i thought she would so that was the only thing this year i've been on facebook one time managed to get an argument um, over politics and sexual pro like who you have sex with um and also, was it Poroshenko, whoever, the, the president of, no, no, it's not him. Is it the president of, you know, the president of uh, white Russia, Borussia, no, no, it's Bor white Russia, fuck, can't speak, and Joe Biden, watch his name, I said something, I was like, why is it, is it Poroshenko, I was like, she's standing up to the EU, she's there, he's not our president, I was like, Joe Biden ain't my fucking president. <laughs> and then it started uh so that's another reason why i got off facebook and then also on my phone well i'm using it right now i'll right, show you i started using language apps so whenever i'm using an app on my phone i'm using it to learn a language check primarily sometimes brushing up on german um was dabbling with Russian, but then I kind of was like, mm, 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 let's focus on Czech. Russian will come pretty quickly once I know Czech. Um, yeah, I already hear Russian words. And I'm like, hey, I know that word. Where do you know it from? Czech. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, um, I see how, how like, you know, riding in trams and buses and metros, you get a lot of time where you get to see what other people are doing with their phones. A lot of them are scrolling through Instagram. Facebook feeds. Well, I don't know what Meta looks like, what you used to see Facebook. They must have changed it because you don't see it anymore. Um, and you're like, you know... I've done it. God only knows how many thousands of hours I've spent on these, you know, Instagram. And, or whatever, Facebook. Read stupid news, post stupid news, read stupid, post stupid news. Hope for a reaction. And, you know, I could have been learning something. I could be putting money in my pocket right now. Or, or could just have been learning something. Doesn't even have to be about the money. I could have had knowledge about something useful. I mean, so uh, I see that now, and I'm like, man, that is such a waste of time. Then you meet people who are like concerned with being Instagram famous or TikTok famous. And you're like, this is weird. These people are weird. And then you get into like all the, you know, the fake beauty, the steroids, if you're a guy, the plastic surgeries, the weird hair, the weird face shit. You see these people like nowadays, a lot of them coming out of the East Russia and shit, but like they, their faces look like they're made out of plastic. Like, who wants to have sex with a mannequin? Like, I don't know who's telling you, you the, must be the steroided freak 
or a homosexual or somebody is like, yeah, that's beautiful. Like, huh? You look like you're made out of plastic. <laughs> Especially the microbladed hairy ass eyebrows and shit. Like, the big. <laughs> So anyways, um, yeah, um, so the whole thing's bullshit. It's designed to act like a drug. It'll waste your time. 20 years later, you'll be like, what the hell did I do? Uh, you spent three of the last 20 years on Facebook. I mean, add up the hours. Just last year, I was five days, five, six days on what? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Duolingo alone. And that's not my only way of learning Czech. So just five days out of 365 last year, I was on Duolingo, almost six days. So do the math. You spend two, three, four, five hours a day on Instagram and uh, Facebook, it adds up fast. <laughs> and what do you get out of it? Nothing. Likes. It's like jerking off to pornography or something. What do, you, what do you get out of it? Mental likes or some sort of, you know, the dopamine hit or something, you know. Then you end up feeling guilty about it later. This is what's really fucking up the minds of young women. Really fucking them because they're too young to understand. And then when you tell them, uh-uh. Well, like I said, I come from America, so they got that whole, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Honey child. I guess Honey Child's old. Uh uh. Best would be no one to science. Uh uh. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Go, go ruin your life. Just, I hope <laughs> you turn into a porn star and die from fucking drug addiction with your uh uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, but anyways, why I think Facebook. I have a Facebook work page. Zero friends. All my clients, I could get them on the Facebook and I could use it as a way to uh, commercially outreach and grow my business. Also, I would have a clean Facebook because it's happened to me a lot. You meet some girls. Well, can you give me your Facebook or your Instagram? I'm like, well, I don't really have them anymore. I can give them to you. But I haven't even looked at them in years. If you can find them. <laughs> Here's my phone number. You want to give me your phone? What you said you wanted to contact me? Yeah, through Facebook. It's like they want to spy on you. That's what they really want to do. These bitches today. You know? Oh, oh, oh! Now I know all about them. <laughs> so I could have that. Uh, Instagram. <clears throat> I have thousands of beautiful pictures now that I've made of Prague. And you have to remember, I live in one of the world's most beautiful cities. And I happen to live during the whole of the deepest, darkest lockdown days. I've seen Prague like very few other people have seen it. I've seen it like it was in a horror movie. And everybody had been kidnapped. <laughs> You're the only person in a big city. Like, where the fuck did everybody go? <laughs> a month ago, you couldn't walk through this area. Nowadays, it's like... You're singing out loud just to hear the echoes. Like, wow. <laughs> so I was thinking it could be a way to display my uh, pictures of Prague and other various funny things. Because I think I do make decent pictures. And it's more that I have awesome things to shoot. I'm very much an amateur with an amateur camera. But uh, the right angle, the right light, the right scenery to make an awesome picture with the cheapest piece of crap. Or conversely, the most expensive camera and all the no talent and no scenery and no angle. <laughs> you got a piece of shit. <laughs> so that's why I'm contemplating. And I have been contemplating it for a while, but it's almost January. And if I want to develop my ability to earn money, that's one of the strategies I've thought out is I need to become more digital. I mean, when I work on, I work online a lot. I use digital means in my, you know, I'm not adverse to technology. I'm just adverse to the, to the uh, drug addiction that is social media. 
I mean, as a guy who's never gotten addicted to hard substances and uh, would sometimes sorely love to never drink again and get off alcohol totally, I'm more of like a weekend warrior, fall off the wagon, binge drink for a couple of days and then get back on for a week or two and then fall off again. That's my drinking style. But I uh, would stop that, you know. But um, I've, the more I've learned about it, it's like the uh, social media is scary. But at the same time, you know, it's like uh, like I, with the cell phone or whatever, the, the smartphone, I think about it, you know, is it a, a, it can be a great weapon to be used or to be used against you. Do you use your technology to educate yourself or, you know, to do meditation? You know, there's a lot of tools on there that can improve your life. Or do you use your technology for gambling, for mindless game playing, for Instagram scrolling, for Facebook, for pornography, for, a, you know, just stupid shit. As a, as a handheld time waster, mind sucker. You know, it can work where it's putting stuff in, but it can take stuff out. That's up to you. So I'm, as a, like an ex- drug addict or something like do i want to tr try that drug again because i don't want to get addicted again but it could be advantageous i don't know it's something i'm brainstorming so that's my video for today we'll see if it works